Have you guys ever made uh, crepes? Some people call them crepes, <laughs> but I'm really Frenchy, so I call them crepes. Today I'm making a buckwheat crepe, and then I'm gonna fill it with eggs and sausage and all kinds of delicious stuff to make a Grand Slam breakfast galette. And it's actually super easy to make crepes, and you can make them with buckwheat like I'm going to, or you can use all all-purpose flour. The same recipe works for both. So I'm using a half a cup of buckwheat. Everything just goes directly into a uh, blender. So you can just add everything as you go. It's a half a cup of buckwheat flour and then a half a cup of all-purpose flour. Like I was saying, if you wanna make plain crepes or if you're making something sweet and you don't want the buckwheat in it, just use all-purpose flour, the same amount. A tablespoon of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt, four large eggs, four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. You'll also need more butter later to cook the crepes, but these actually have to sit in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, and you could actually make them a day ahead if you want to. And then one and a half cups of room temperature milk. So if it's not room temperature or you don't want to let it sit out, just put it in the microwave for a couple seconds to get just not cold from the fridge. And then just blend everything together. There's a little bit stuck on the side of the blender jar, so I'm just going to scrape it down. A little bit of flour. I guess you would avoid that if you added all the liquid ingredients first and then added the dry ingredients, but I didn't do that. <laughs> so down puree again. That's it. This goes into the refrigerator. Like I said, it needs to rest just for a more tender crepe, 30 minutes and up to overnight. Once your batter has rested, you want to have a non-stick pan. It makes it easier. There are crepe pans out there, but uh, you don't have to use them. Brush it lightly with butter. You don't want to have too thick of a coating of butter. Otherwise, it actually doesn't work as well. So just a very thin coating of butter and then a quarter cup of batter. You want to preheat your pan. Now, just like with pancakes, there's a possibility that this is not going to come out so great because it's my first uh, crepe of the day, so we'll see. But what you do is you heat your pan, add your butter, and then you add your batter and swirl it to coat the pan. The pan should be warm. I feel like maybe my pan was not quite warm enough because it's not starting to set quickly enough. So I'm gonna turn it up. We'll see how this one goes, but it might not be the best. You really do have to get the swing of it, just like with many pancakes. I don't know why it is. I guess it's like that perfect heat of the pan and thickness of the batter and the amount of batter and all that stuff. But it's definitely one of those things that you just sort of need to get a feel for. But now it's setting around the edges and you just swirl it so that it coats the entire bottom of the pan. There's a little bit of a hole here. I'm not that concerned with that, but you want the batter to be as even as possible and as um, nicely spread around as possible. I like to use one of these small offset spatulas to flip them um, and also my fingers. And you're looking for it to be dry around, well basically the entire thing should get dry and the edges should look a little bit lacy. And I then just take it with my fingers and flip it over just briefly. It is kind of hot, you don't have to do that. You can use a different kind of spatula and then you just cook it on the other side until it dries out. This actually should only take a matter of like a few seconds per side, maybe 30 seconds a side. Oh, all things considered, I feel like that one came out pretty well. Rebutter the pan and then just keep going. Uh, this makes about 15 crepes, which of course I'm not gonna make you sit through that. But I'll make a couple and you need two for this uh, Grand Slam galette. So I'm gonna make at least two. You can see that it's uh, setting up much, much more quickly now. So you wanna make sure that you adjust your heat as you go to keep the pan heat about medium, but it's gonna set and go really, really quickly. Great thing about crepes is you can make them ahead, you can just stack them up, you can wrap them once they're cool and refrigerate them for a day or two, you can freeze them. So while it does take a little bit of time to make them, it's a great, great make ahead thing. Generally speaking, the buckwheat ones are called galettes and the non-buckwheat ones are called crepes, but also the way that I'm forming it into the um, savory packet is also called a galette. So it's a double galette. 
more butter. Okay. Great. I'm going to stop even though I really don't want to because I'm so proud of myself and move on to forming the galettes. You want to have your oven at 350 to bake them. Okay, I'm going to move on, but just imagine I made 15 of those. So here I have two eggs, which is going to go into my galettes. Move these off the tray because I'm going to build them right here on the tray. Some sausage, it's about three ounces of sausage. You can use spicy. This is like a breakfast sausage. And then making a little butter. This is going to get uh, smeared over the crap. So it's two tablespoons of butter, maple syrup, a tablespoon, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And this, like I said, this is for two. So you can make more and just mash it together. So you're getting a little bit of that spice from the mustard and obviously the sweetness from the maple syrup. And that sort of savory sweetness is so great with the buckwheat crepes. It's delicious. You get all that earthiness from the buckwheat, um, which is really nicely offset with the sweetness. The butter and the maple syrup probably won't fully, fully combine because liquid and fat, you know. But just get it mixed as well as you can. And um, then lay out two crepes on a baking sheet. And then spread your maple Dijon butter mixture over the crepes evenly, all the way to the edges, basically. Then crack one egg into the center of each crepe. And you're going to want to spread the egg white more towards the edge, which I'll do just so that it's not so clumped in the center and it cooks more quickly. It's that egg white that's directly around the egg yolk that cook takes so long to cook. And then if that doesn't get thinned out, then what happens is it takes so long to cook that your egg yolk overcooks, especially if you want like a looser egg yolk in this. Also, the egg white is what helps adhere the final ingredient, which is the sausage. And you want to sprinkle the sausage. It's three ounces of sausage for two, evenly between the two crepes and only over the egg white, not on the yolk. That's mostly for visual reasons. And it's, this is raw, but taken out of the casings. Sometimes you can buy sausage that's not in the casing and go ahead and get that so you don't have to go through that step. So then fold the edges over the egg white, but leaving the egg yolk exposed like this. Cute little package. Season with salt and pepper. Probably should have done that before I folded it up, huh? You do it before you fold it up. That way the whole thing is salt and pepper. And then get it into the oven and bake it until the egg white is set and the yolks are still runny or not runny, depending on how you like it. It'll take about eight to 10 minutes. There they are. I can smell the mustard and the maple syrup, which is extremely enticing to me right now. First thing in the morning. I do recommend that if you want to make these for like brunch or breakfast or whatever, make the crepes the day before. Obviously, that'll uh, make it super easy to make these and you can make them in batches. So then you want to just be careful when you're lifting them off so that they don't break. I'm just going to use my hand to like help transfer it. And then sprinkle with a little bit of chive if you want, but you don't have to. But it definitely brings it up another level and makes it quite fancy. But look how delicious that is and really, really easy. Crepes are a great make-ahead breakfast or brunch idea. Give it a try. If you like recipes like this and you want more, make sure to click like and subscribe because we have plenty more where this came from.